Hello, just wanted to make an update on my wheel, show what's going on. Uh, I have another set of coils on. Uh, the two coils from a uh, previous, previous vid, um, I combined the two coils, put them onto this set. <clears throat> uh, it's about it. I don't have a meter on my Bedini side. It's roughly running about the same. I'm going to switch around. Here, I'll do it this way. Almost. It started one time on its own. <laughs> She's a beast. Alright, so we have a... It's going to get up to speed. A meter here on AC volts. Again, coming in to this tiny little coil. Just for measuring the speed. We'll let that settle at a voltage at its top speed and then that'll show us a uh, change in speed if the voltage rises or falls it'll show us a change in speed ammeter on the um, output cap the switch is off volts uh, prior to prior to the switch where she's going to settle at 4.7 4.8 hold steady there Okay, so she's pretty much settled down, and I'm going to, as in previous videos, I'm going to flip the switch. Both these coils are hooked up to that switch. These coils come down to this spot, so are these. The wire comes down through the switch, bridge rectifier, capacitor, ammeter. The um, resistor in here is what I'm using as a load. Um, and just so you know, I just used a light bulb, which wasn't lighting up, so I didn't think it was too exciting. It's, uh, I was charging a 9 volt battery, that was pretty cool. It went over 10 volts immediately from 8.5. Anyways, not real important. Just want to show you the speed change and how when the coils are engaged, the wheel's going to speed up. Acceleration under load. So here we go, we're going to flip the switch, and we're watching and listening. It's on. It slowly raises speed, it's heavy. So we've had a speed change, we've gone from 4.7, 4.8-ish, up to 5.1, just trying to stay there. And the wheel is heavy so it takes a while for it to accelerate. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, I have two, now that I've wound those onto one, and look at my coffee table, holy moly. <laughs> but now that I've wound those coils together I have two identical dimension coils I'm going to wrap some thick wire on those and um, see the difference I'm going to fill the spool to about the same weight as what these coils were uh, 390 
grams, something like that, 400 grams maybe. Um, but I'm going to try that, the bigger wire in that configuration, see what it does for the speed and the effect on the wheel and the output. And then I'm going to go buy wire. Uh, there's a fellow out there, his channel name is Uruga. Y O U R O G G A. Uh, U Raja, maybe is how it's pronounced. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, English. Although I speak English and I'm from an English country, it's it's foreign to me too <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, U Raja. Uh, I'll leave the link in my thing. He. Um, He's done experiments showing this as well. He used a uh, smaller gauge wire and much more, much, much more of an effect. So I'm, I'm going to try the thicker wire tonight just so that I can sleep comfortably after I go buy this wire. But I'm certain that the smaller wire is going to be better. So I'm going to buy a spool or maybe two and, um, and put them on the wheel. Uh, people have been generous, kind words, kind comments, encouragement, and whatnot. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go get some. I want to do a couple more tests before I go buy spool, just to be sure. But I'm very certain that the smaller wire is much better. But uh, you might want to go check out his videos, very impressive. Um, and his setup, too, and equipment and everything. So there you go. Oh, maybe we'll switch her off. There you go, switches off. And you can hear it lagging, slowing down. Okay. Slow it down faster than it speeds up. But there you go. That's my second set of coils on there. And they're going to be, it can be much better effect. Um, I believe with the smaller wire because this really is like a 24, 25, 24 gauge. It's from the secondary of a microwave oven, but it's not the smallest. It's like I I picked the bigger the bigger wire of the secondaries. Like I had 20 microwave ovens <laughs> transformers to choose from, so I kind of picked the bigger gauge. I have some smaller stuff I might look at, but. I'm going to be going to get either going to get some wire, probably just going to get it because I'll be able to leave real early in the morning. I got a, you know, a good haul to go get it at the distributor, but I'll be back in the afternoon and I'll have it, so it'll be good. But anyways, more coils will be going on. Uh, check out those other videos and uh, I'll talk to you later.